Now, our next act is a six-year-old girl who's popular with everybody. The audience, the judges... And the tooth fairy. <laughs> it's Connie Talbot. What's your name? Connie. You've made it through to the semi-finals. It's Connie Talbot! <laughs> the best six-year-old singer in the world. Connie Talbot! Sometimes, when I sleep, I sing in my sleep. You can just hear this song in the middle of the night, and it's actually Connie singing, singing. so it must be in a so dream. So she must be dreaming that she's on stage or something. When I sing on the stage, it makes me feel happy. I love singing more than anything else in the whole wide world. This whole competition just feels like a dream. And I don't want it to stop. important place on the Royal Variety Show. Now, I'm in the ITV One studio, so we must talk to the stars of Britain's Got Talent, Anton Deck! <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. How are you? How are you? Very How good. You like? Very good. And, of course, tonight's semi-final winners! <laughs> I've got to quickly say hello. Connie, you're right. How much did you get for your front teeth? Good. OK. <laughs> right. Well done to you. They've gone up in value, I tell you that. <laughs> now, boys, um, well done, Wizards. We'll be talking to you a bit later on. What a night. Great night. Oh, what a week. Unbelievable. It's been incredible. It's, 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 I can't believe we started last Saturday night, and then we're, we're here already a, a week later, and we've got our finalists ready, the big final tomorrow night. It's just been... I, I know I know a lot of the, uh, the seven fans. It's been a roller coaster of a week. <laughs> but the thing is, you know, when, when we all, when we decided to do the show, you, we really didn't know what was going to happen. No. And I thoroughly enjoy working on this show. It's brilliant. And the judges agree as well. You just don't know what's going to happen. It's edgy you see stuff. It's great. The big question is, who is going to win? <gasps> oh, come on. You can't put me in. Come on. <laughs> Who's going to win? Well, come on. I need my thoughts to myself. I'm okay. very nice, Stephen Mohan. Tomorrow, you're going to be on my safe, aren't you? Yes. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Oh, not again. No, not that. <laughs> it's been full of drama and entertainment. There's a lot more where that's come from. Let's go to ITV2 right now. Here we go. Let's we talk. We just did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Connie. She is just... Oh, she's an angel. Absolutely amazing. Extraordinary. Absolutely. Amazing. Captivating. Yeah. You know, she's not... She, look, some of the notes were a little bit off, but you'd expect that, but it doesn't matter. But she's and just she's, not phased by anything. She's not phased and she's not precocious, and I think that's the important thing. You know, yeah. so many, was right, though. she's she unaware actually, of what she can do, yeah, which but she is can lovely. Sing. The girl can sing, yeah. though, she knows how to project herself, how to sing. I mean, also, it's amazing, her control. Mm. Obviously, the voice is a bit not quite right yet, but when it is, she's going to be incredible. Honestly, does anyone else stand a chance? Time for some adoration as we welcome the two acts who won your heart and a place in tomorrow's grand finale. It's Connie Talbot and the Bar Wizards! <laughs> Hello, you're Auntie Debbie, aren't you? That's right, yes. Nice to see you. And Sit you yourself too. down. Look at this. Oh. I'm going to come to you in just a moment. Right. That's funny, all right? And uh, Bob, was it? Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> now, how are you feeling? Oh, over the moon. <laughs> over the moon. I love this, you're clutching that. Yeah, I know, right yeah, you yeah. It's what my daughter made. We made a few of these with Connie. 
Right. So, so Auntie Debbie, tell me something. You know, where does Connie get this incredible voice from? Well, it's not of her mum. It's not of her dad. I think it's of her nan. And nan could sing. I was going to say, I thought you were going to say it was off you then. No, no, no. I'm Tom <laughs> Deaf, so I can't sing. Oh, right. <laughs> OK. And what about her confidence? She's always had it. Ever since she was, you know, she could walk, she could talk. She's, she's just that confident. It's unbelievable. She doesn't get nervous at anything. Nothing at all. Shall we enjoy the moment when she got yeah. through? Let's have a look, because everyone loves her. Yeah. The first act going through to the final of Britain's Got Talent is... Connie Talbot! And look at her face. <laughs> you know, how did she lose those teeth? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 the bottom ones it's have gone at the first audition. Those have just grew, grew back. Really? Mm, yeah. Let's have a look at your T-shirt as well. Look. Vote Connie. What's she going to sing tomorrow? Uh, I must, can I say? You can tell me. This is not a problem. I think it's somewhere over the rainbow. You're not I really think... allowed to tell me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. So somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah. OK. Because yeah, so. she sang it before and that yeah. absolutely stormed it in the auditions, yeah, didn't it? That's true, yeah. And is that like her favourite song? Yeah. Right. It's her favourite film. <laughs> do you think, I know uh, Connie's with her parents at the moment, um, do you think that they worry at all about her getting so famous so young? Because without question, out of all of the contestants that we've got, she's by far been in the papers the most. And front yeah, page the other day. Yeah. Do you think that's yeah, a worry? It, it is a worry, but they're not pushy parents. They've, she's never had singleness and they've never pushed her. Connie's the one, if she wants to sing, she'll sing. If she doesn't want to sing, she won't sing. It's as simple as that. Do you think there's a worry at all that she might walk out <coughs> tomorrow and all that confidence could go and she just freezes? What do you think the chances are of that? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I don't think so, no. Well, I hope not. No, I hope not. Fingers crossed. She's taking it all in her stride. I'll tell you what, let's just have a look at when she actually came off from yeah. performing. OK, have a look at this. It went really well. I really like what Simon says and what you just said to me. I'm really happy, I've really enjoyed it. How can you not <laughs> love that? It's a little tongue, but it's a little <laughs> It's unreal. So, so um, are you, you're obviously looking forward to tomorrow. Oh, yeah, definitely. What do you think her big dream is, you know? Well, a big dream is to actually meet Leona and sing with Leona. Oh, mm. OK. See, that could be made possible yes. through the cow, mm. couldn't it? Through the boss, yeah. Well, only time will tell. Listen, thank you both very much. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, if Connie made an album, right, at such a young age, how well do you think it would do? I think it'd do very well. Yeah. Yeah, great. Well, <laughs> for Simon, anyway. Simon is definitely well, you in there. You'd be crying all the way through it. Yeah. <laughs> and when, when Simon, when Simon heard her sing the first time, we saw pound signs popping up in his eyes. Well, would you buy it, Brian? Would I buy what? <laughs> Simon's pound size? No, <laughs> would you, would you no buy I probably Connie's wouldn't, but Leslie would buy it for, buy it for me. Oh, nice. She can <laughs> eyes up. Now, d Norma, tell me, what did you think of Dr. Gore? Oh, no way. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not for families. He's not for families? No, no. But what did you think Horrible. of his actual act? Horrible. What about you, Pat? No, I didn't like him one bit. So you wouldn't let him do a trick on you or no, anything like that? Not likely. Not likely. Why are you laughing like that, Leslie? She knows what her tricks are like. Do you do magic? <laughs> yes, Just some tricks. <laughs> Just do tricks. <laughs> right, now I need to ask you one at a time, OK? We'll start with you, Norma. Who is going to win tomorrow? Oh, the little girl. Got, got to. Who? The little girl. Got the little to girl, win. Connie. Connie. Yeah. OK. What about you, Leslie? Don't forget, you've got Damon Scott, I know. you've got Paul Potts, you've got Combat Breakers. I don't, I don't, I don't matter, Connie's going to win. Oh, OK. Connie's going to win. Right. Brian? I think probably Connie will win. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, yeah, she is very good for, <laughs> you know, such a So, it, OK, age. you're saying she'll most probably win, but does she yeah. deserve to win yeah. compared yeah. to yeah. the rats? Yeah, I think so, yeah. OK. She's got a yeah. lot of talent. You, Pat, you're sure people won't just vote because she's cute and she's lovable well, and she's very young? Well, obviously, yes. But oh, oh. She's just a little top, didn't she? <laughs> no, she's okay. Well, that's, that sorts that out then, doesn't it? That's it, buddy. Thank you very much. See you later. Right. Bye. Bye. I just thought that Connie was going was gonna to get it. Up mm. until tonight, mm. 
Um, would you would you agree with that? The, the, the average you mood. You hear Paul Potts. I, I watched Connie and I thought brilliant. She sang the best she's sung, and you could hear everyone melting and. Mm. Old lady here booing her eyes out as usual. Oh, and it was very emotional. Jack went, Dex started crying too. To well, yeah, of course. Thank I mean, you. emotionally fragile people, but yeah. professionals. Uh, 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 okay, <laughs> now, Connie. <laughs> Connie, I know you're not Connie. No, no. no. And uh, could you imagine if she took her makeup off and that was it? <laughs> um, Superstar at last. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're Connie's uncle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, I know she's a bit upset, by the way. That's, that's why Connie's not here at the moment. And you can understand that as well. She's six years old. Yeah. Um, you know, it was an incredible performance from her, wasn't it? How were you feeling when you were in the audience? Oh, it's, it's such a choke, really. I mean, you know, Connie's favourite pastime is making Uncle Dave cry, and uh, she did it tonight, you know. It's just fantastic, you know. Six years of age, gets on stage, blows everybody away. What can you say? It's mm. fantastic. Yeah. It was amazing. At the end yeah. of the performance, the, the, the notes were just perfect. Yeah, she's great. You know, I mean, we've been listening to that for four or five years now. And right. For everybody else to experience it, you know, that's what it's all about. What do you think she'll do from now? Um, I want to go to school tomorrow. Yeah, but... well, you know, I think uh, it'd be nice just for, the, you know, the world to get back to a bit of normality. Normality for you a know, bit. You know, we love thing, Connie. You know, let's see her back playing with the toys, you know, taking the dog for a walk, whatever. Um, Lovely and then, way. you know, okay. something might happen. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed it does. Yeah. Let's hear it for Connie and yeah. all of our yeah. fans. Next, we show how Britain's Got Talent brought child stars back to the talent show roller coaster. I didn't like it. I loved it. If your child wants to do something and they're confident and you think they can handle it as a parent, let them do it. The first child star to emerge from the new talent show era was little Connie Tolbert. I saw it on an advert after X Factor and it said any age, so I thought, I like to go on that. What, what do you do, Connie? I sing. You're a singer? Yeah. I came home from work and then there was, the form was there and a picture and I was like, what's, what's happening, what's going on? And she's like, she's entering Britain's Got Talent and I was like, oh, I don't know whether that's a good idea. She came out with a lisp and said she was going to sing and, and I'm thinking, oh God, I hope this goes well because it's going to be awful for her. With Simon's reputation going before him, it's little wonder that Connie's parents were worried. My dad didn't want me to audition because he was really nervous for me. And I know what Simon Kell could be like. You know, you never know, he might upset my child. There's only one person who you need to really impress, and that's the nasty Simon. What do you think? Do you think he liked you or not? <laughs> I call him the child catcher. And everyone thinks he hates kids. He doesn't. He's brilliant with them. Connie. I didn't like it. I was nervous when he said he didn't like it. I thought, oh, please, please don't say anything nasty to her. I loved it. Yeah! I was like, oh, no, thank God for that. <laughs> You're just, I just adore you. She was absolutely note perfect. And that's why I like having kids on the show. I think Simon's a softy inside. <laughs> Paul Potts! She didn't win the show, but she's hugely successful. And still a lovely girl. With teeth now, I hear. <laughs>